A memorial service was held near Idlewild over the weekend for Jody Newkirk. Welcome back. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Investigators say Newkirk died recently on a ranch in the area under suspicious circumstances. CBS 8's David Gofferson was at the service with the camera rolling when a man that nobody expected to see showed up in person. The death of 46 year old Jody Newkirk on a ranch near Idlewild is suspicious according to Riverside Sheriff detectives. And this man's arrival on Saturday at Newkirk's memorial service in Mountain Center was surprising, awkward, and upsetting to some in attendance. He's Keith Harper, the man who called 911 two days before Christmas to report Newkirk had died in a rollover ATV accident on the Bonita Vista Ranch where Harper lives. It's the same ranch where former La Jolla resident Dia Abrams went missing in 2020. She still has not been found. Harper strolled into the memorial service, coming face to face with friends and family of the deceased. CBS 8 was there with a camera at the invitation of Newkirk's sister, Kelly Berkowitz. She drove up in a car and was visibly shaken when she noticed Harper was there. My reaction to seeing Keith Harper was a panic attack. Yeah, I kind of lost my mind there for a minute. I just couldn't believe it. I was stunned. Before long, Harper walked away and was met by more relatives in the parking lot, including the victim's teenage daughter. They told him to leave. Harper had already been warned not to show up at the service, according to a family member who said they told Harper he was not welcome. Once the 72-year-old drove off, the memorial for Jody Newkirk began. Her sister spoke of Jody's troubled life and her love for her children. Jody was not a perfect person, but who of us are? She was a wildflower like these. How difficult it is to love a wildflower. How painful it is to lose our wildflower. Her 19-year-old son, Chris Rowley, spoke of his mother's struggles. No matter what she was going through, whatever was going on in her life, she always made sure to keep in touch. She was loved and she just will live in our hearts forever. We could never, ever forget her. Keith Harper did not respond to a message from CBS 8 requesting comment for this report. Previously, he has said that Newkirk's death was an accident. Her official cause of death is still pending autopsy results. Carlo? Uh, David, you previously reported Jody Newkirk had been working on the Bonita Vista Ranch and Keith Harper was her boss. What kind of evidence have we seen in this investigation so far into what's being called a suspicious death? Uh, yeah, well, as you mentioned, within days of Newkirk's death, the Riverside Sheriff's Department put out a news release saying they consider her death suspicious. And then family members going through her belongings at the rental house discovered several journals and those journals seemed to suggest that she was in a personal relationship with Keith Harper. Uh, those journals now have been turned over to the Riverside Sheriff's Department. David, a mystery you've been following a while with a, a huge twist. David Grofferson reporting live. Thanks, David.